Hi everyone, I'm Ashley with Nine Health, and this is Health Happens, our weekly Facebook Live show. And today, we're in a special spot. We are in the sunshine on the beautiful Cherry Creek Trail. Um, we're talking with the Colfax Marathon friends, Joni and Cree. We're gonna get to them in just a minute, but first, I want to uh, recap of where we've been. This past nine days have been a bit of a whirlwind. It's been our traditional nine days of nine health fair, and we've been all over the place. We, we took a tour through a giant colon. We did some co some cooking demos. We took tours of fairs with Dr. Camilla. We were everywhere. If you didn't get a chance to check any of those out, please visit our Facebook page, Nine Health Fair, or Nine Health Fair Facebook page. And if you are still looking to get out to a Nine Health Fair, we would love to have you. There's a handful left. So go to our website, ninehealthfair.org, to find a location near you. There's a handful this weekend. Um, and then our final fair will be on June 3rd. So you're, you're the clock's ticking. You gotta get out there if you wanna do it. Um, affordable and free health screening is so important to get a check in on how you're doing. And if you don't have a ride to get to a fair, we've got um, exciting news. Metro Taxi is offering free rides to the nearest Nine Health Fair. All you have to do is call and they'll pick you up and take you home. All for free. 303-333-3333. We're so thankful to Metro Taxi for offering that service to you all. So, back to business. We're here again. Joni, you are the Fullback Marathon Race Ambassador. Yeah. Cree, you're the race director. You can see from their attire, they're official. They're serious. <laughs> so first things first, tell us, Joni, how did you get into running? Well, I'm what they call an adult onset runner. Okay. Um, I started running about six years ago, and I really started because um, I had reached kind of a low point in my life. I was suffering with some depression, anxiety. Um, I had physically gotten really out of shape, um, and I really just felt kind of stuck in my life. Um, so I started run walking, okay. gradually built up my distance, and did my first 5K. Um, six years later, I've done over 20 marathons and ultra oh. marathons, so it just stuck. I you love it. Kind of, um, you can't shake it. You, no, you no. Get a, it's it, you're, you can never say no. Yeah, it's addictive, but in the best addictive, way possible. Yes. Yeah. And Cree, tell us how you got into it. You really want to know this? I do, yes, I have Nobody to. Nobody ever asked me I this. I have to really. Yeah, I was going to go. I, I grew up in Connecticut, in Westport, okay. and I was about to get into a fight in the parking lot <laughs> after school. How old were you? I was uh, 13. Okay. And um, one of the guys that I knew who was really cool. Mm -hmm. I wasn't that cool, but I was ready to fight. Said. You're not going to be fighting today. You're going to go out for track. And I said, let's track. And I went down, put on my gym clothes, and when the coach said, what are you here for? I said, track. He said, what event? I said, track. <laughs> I really track. didn't know. I had no idea. And uh, they uh, said, well, then line up for the mile. I said, how far is a mile? They said, four Ooh. times around the track. Mm -hmm. I said, OK. So I went, and I ran 540. And they said, you're on the team. I had to stop smoking. And that was it. Look at that. Your life turned around. Yeah. All because of running. It was, a, you, it, was really. a, it was what I call a god wing. It really was. It changed my entire life and that propelled me into running. Running saved both of you, it sounds like. It's true. That's so cool. So tell us how you both got involved with Colfax Marathon, Joni. Um, I became a Colfax ambassador about two years ago. Um, my very first marathon five years ago was the Colfax Marathon. I just loved it because it's um, it's so intimate and it's a great way to see the city and the yeah. community is awesome. So um, I just felt so passionately about the race that um, they had opportunities to help. So I've been doing that ever since, just with grassroots marketing, oh, cool. spreading the word. It's been fun. Very nice. Cree, how about you? So. Um, in, I don't remember what year it was, maybe 2003, a guy named Dave Wallstrom, a woman named Jean Townsend, and Frank Gray, they were Denver and Lakewood, had this brilliant idea that they wanted to do a marathon on Colfax. And I went, that's a dumb idea. And, <laughs> that's and, never going to work. And you got to help us out. And I said, I really don't think I want to do that, and so on. They were quite persuasive, and uh, then eventually Jean Townsend and I became the co-consultants kind of thing and then the cities got involved and once we had all three city councils involved mm -hmm. and we knew we wanted to be a nonprofit, which we are and we're very proud of that um, we launched in 2006 and uh, I've been with it ever since and now Andrea Dowd is the CEO and she's amazingly talented and uh, she does all that sort of cool marketing and sponsor related stuff I'm the ops guy yeah, I'm the you're director. The guy. You're the director. I'm, I'm making it happen. A little bit of that East yeah. Coast there. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Well, and if you're just joining us, this we are on the Cherry Creek Trail talking with members of the Colfax Marathon team. Colfax Marathon is coming up here. And what if, okay, first of all, what if someone doesn't know how long a marathon, how long is a marathon? 
Oh, yeah, so that's a really good question. Joni, I'll let you well, answer that. Yeah, it's 26.2 miles. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot of miles. Yeah. It's doable, miles. though. It's you, doable. You break it up in pieces as you go along, right? Yeah. Well, and to that point, we, you know, not many people should be signing up for the marathon yeah. at this point, and we'd love it if they do, if they've trained. I don't really sure. encourage if they don't. It's not a last minute decision. Yeah. No, it is not a last minute decision. But to your point, we're at altitude. So a lot of people are a little bit intimidated about going 26.2 miles mm -hmm. at altitude. Mm -hmm. If you train here, it's fine. So we decided we would have a five person relay. Ah, uh, yeah. And so you could still say, I ran the Colfax Marathon <laughs> Really, a chunk of <laughs> and, and we still give you a medal, and okay. you get, and we chop it up in pieces. Okay. And and if you go to our website at runcofax.org, you'll see those pieces. And it's not too late to set up a relay team. We're okay. one of the largest marathon relays in the world. This is so cool. In the world, right here in Denver. Crazy. Right so here. tell us more about this year's race. What's the, does the route change every year, and what's the date? Oh, that's a great question. I'll give you the date. And the route has to change. Okay. Uh, it, the, on the 19th, we do the Belco 5K. Okay. That kicks off the weekend. We have an expo starting on Friday and Saturday. That's the 18th and the 19th mm -hmm. over at Mile High. Okay. I'm calling it Mile High now. Yeah, that's, and, that's safe. Yeah, I think that's and, safe. yeah, I think it's safe. And then um, on, on Sunday, we do a 10 miler. Okay. It starts, it's called the Urban 10 Miler. It starts out in Lakewood. That's a great partner in Lakewood. Have you ever run that? I have not. It's the only one I haven't run, but people say they love it. People tell me it's yeah. their favorite. So that's a cool yeah. race that okay. starts there, finishes at Denver City Park. Everything finishes in City Park. City Park, nice. And then the relay starts and finishes, goes out to Lakewood, comes back, and the half marathon goes out to Aurora and comes ah, back. Ah! You know, a lot of times when I'm driving in my car and I see the mileage, and I, I, I do this yeah, all this the time, great, yeah. I think... I've gone 13 miles. Yeah. Someone can run this amount uh -huh. of mi miles that I've just driven in my car. I've been in my car for 20 minutes and someone has been running this entire, I mean, I just, it blows my mind. <laughs> it blows my mind. So you're both seasoned runners. Um, what are your tips if someone's out there really wanting to get into running, how can you get started? Joni, you want to take that? Yeah, I mean, I think step number one is make sure you have um, the right gear. It doesn't need to be anything fancy, but it needs to be right for your body. I would recommend going to a running store and getting okay. um, fitted for a pair of shoes. There's totally. a lot of great local running stores that will do that for you. Cool. Um, and then my tip is just be easy on yourself. If you need to take some walk breaks, mm -hmm. you're not feeling it one day, just do what you can. Mm -hmm. okay. So we have training advice, again, yes. you know, from what we call it from couch to 5k yes, I love that. so we have that kind of information on our website okay, so you yeah. can actually learn about that now look if people go holiday shopping in December they'll walk a 5k <laughs> you know and they don't Around know the it yeah. they don't know it yeah. you know, they get their Fitbit they'll figure it yeah. out but you can do that so you can still sign up for our 5k it hasn't sold out yet I, I know it hasn't sold out and the half marathon hasn't sold out I'm not positive about the other two okay. um, but the point is you can go and walk a 5K, and we provide enough time for you to walk for the walkers. A 5K. How cool is that? That is really cool. So you, I mean, you really could, you could walk the 5. You could decide yeah. today you were going to walk yeah. the 5K. Absolutely. No problem. Yeah. So what about the ones that are preparing for the marathon? What does uh, it take to prepare for a race like that? Hang on, that's a whole <laughs> different. Now I'm, I'm we not may have for we may have a slightly different yeah, view. Okay. I yeah. I tend to be a hardcore traditionalist. Okay. I want you to spend four to five months training. Wow. I want you to have it in periodic pieces. And if mm -hmm. you're curious how I used to train back in the day, it's on the website. You can see okay. my training program oh, nice. and then you'll go, okay. I don't want to do that. <laughs> but Joni can tell you yeah. from her perspective over the yeah. past seven yeah. years, what did you do to get ready? Well, I will tell you that for my first marathon, I was a bit of a traditionalist. I did the 20 mile run. Um, I probably wasn't putting in as much mileage as people that are very competitive, but I was getting out there and doing it, even if I was just walking, just getting time yeah, on sure. the feet, oh, wow. building that confidence. Um, as time goes on, I've definitely kind of taken a more fun approach to my marathons. I kind of <laughs> stick near the back and have a lot of fun and be the site. So I'm probably not as to the T on training, but you still got to get out there and get the miles. Even if they're at a slower pace, sure. if you're walking, going for a hike, cross training, um, you don't you don't really want to slack because you <laughs> might pay for it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I, you want to cross will, the finish line. Yeah, yes, and yes. I, I will tell you, it's sometimes it's important to run for a purpose. I mean, yeah. I can run for myself, yeah. and I was always self motivated because I was going for time and, mm -hmm. and and performance. But later in my life, I ran for charities. Yeah. And oh, so I did team and training for Leukemia and Lymphoma Society 
got some cool places, London, Paris, wow. you know, things like that. And I can remember um, how important that was toward the end of the race. I was running a bad mm. Paris marathon and it just was not going well. And about three miles to go, somebody came up and patted me on the back and <laughs> said, thanks for doing what you're doing oh. for leukemia. Yes. And I went, I'm an idiot. I'm gonna and, finish this. Yeah, and so it, it yeah. motivated me. So yeah. if somebody says, I don't know if I want to do that, then get off your butt, go find a charity. Yeah. We have 230 charity oh, partners. Wow. It's not too late to sign up and run yeah. the half of one of those. What, yeah, find what you're motivated by. Yeah, that's, that's what I think. That's so that's cool. That's a great idea, yeah. That yeah. is so cool. Um, so tell me a little bit more about You've experienced some health benefits from running, right? Oh yeah. Physical, emotional. Mm -hmm. What's the what are some of the health benefits that you would say like this is why I run, this is why I keep running? For me, like I said, I started running because I was having issues with depression and anxiety, and it hasn't cured that, but it definitely helps. Yeah. I can sleep better, I feel better, I get those endorphins. You know, it really just yes. kind of takes real. the edge real. off my stress, um, and just having something positive to work towards and a goal is really just really improved my life yeah. there in that way. For me, um, uh, you know, I've had some health challenges mm -hmm. and uh, I just went to my 50th college reunion Whoa, that's at awesome. Virginia Military Institute and I can tell you that there were maybe two people that were running and everybody was sort of surprised that I still ran and mm -hmm. enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I, I think the health benefits are psychological. I mean, when you feel good, in your own skin and you feel in control i you know i can go skiing at any time i can climb mountains i can i can do whatever the yeah. i can do whatever i want yeah. and and uh, i think that's the greatest benefit yeah. it's the psychological component and then the physical component you feel good and you don't have to constantly buy new clothes <laughs> that's, that's a true. good point you don't have to upsize that's a this. great point <laughs> well and there's also a bonus for runners with nine health there right yes there so is so if you sign up to run the Colfax Marathon, and then you buy a blood chemistry, which is our most popular screening at Nine Health Fair, you get a free blood cell count. So that's a $20 value. And a little bonus totally cool. for all you runners out there, um, our medical advisory committee will tell you that that blood cell count is a good way to kind of see how you're doing, yeah. um, how, you're, how you can perform, how you can improve. So if you're a runner out there and you want to get the screening that might help you um, maybe improve your time a little bit, that's a great screening for you. Let me tell you that the, if I could endorse that a little bit, I, um, I used to uh, be an agent for some world-class distance runners, and particularly the women. If you don't know what's going on chemically in your blood, um, you could be low on iron, um, you could be heading toward a stress fracture and not know it, your calcium may be low. I mean, so many things you can learn from a, a, a blood screening, mm -hmm. and I'm sure you've done this. Yeah, yes. I do it every year. Good for you. And I constantly find out new and different things. Yeah. And uh, you can tweak it. And and my my doc happens to be um, Janelle Kopp, and she is also our medical director for the finish oh, line. Okay. Okay. And she's a runner. Okay. And so I can tell her, and so I always encourage people to find a runner to be your doc, you know, oh, yeah. because um, then they get it. They're not gonna say, well, just stop running. Right. They're gonna nuance it. Absolutely. And Nine Health Fair, I've been there several times, mm -hmm. and it is such, a warm experience because everybody wants to help you yeah and most of it's free yeah it's yeah. unbelievable it, that's a that's such a great point it's just a room full of helpers it is they want to help you be how your hard best. is that it's so great it's so great anything else you want to share with uh, our viewers out there about the cool fact marathon or any encouragement you want to offer yeah i mean i would say i would start by just saying there's still time to sign up like Chris said 5k on saturday 10 miler half marathon you know you can really kind of run walk those and be okay um yeah come join us it's my favorite running party in the city yeah and, and i would say like my daughter i know has been procrastinating she works for centro and she said we're going to put up two teams I haven't seen those come in yet. Uh oh, call you know, her out. You know, she, so I'm calling out. If she's you know, watching. You know, Paige, you better get your teams together <laughs> because there's still time to get a team together before that, and it will yeah. sell out. Okay. So it's that's kind of important yes. too. But I just want to thank what you y'all are doing for the community. I've been around this for a long time, and uh, when you have this benefit in the community with Nine Health Fair, it's a it makes a huge difference. And the partnership that we've had over the years with Nine has been very valuable and uh, you know Steve Carter's a runner and a lot of the other guys uh, and men and women at nine are, are 
are runners. And so I feel like I'm going home every time I go Aww, there. Aw, that's so yeah. sweet. Yeah. I love it. It makes me want to be a runner. All right, there you go. So, Joni, Joni, you're going to start with Joni. In a couple of weeks, <laughs> start like, with Joni. Listen up my jogging shoes. You yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah. Joni, but you're. Yeah, absolutely. Like, Anytime. But you guys, the length of my legs, I think that's the problem. It's just short. Hey, small, hey, steps. Short. Right. small steps. Desi Linden just won yeah, she's Boston tiny. and she's okay. her height. Okay, okay, <laughs> check. Watch for me, guys. There you go. Because Maybe I'll have Desi call you. Please do. And I would appreciate it. <laughs> 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 well, Jordan and Cree, thank you so much thank for joining you. us. And thank you out appreciate there for it. watching. If any of this um, benefited you and you know someone that could uh, benefit from the same information, just share it with them. We'd love to uh, extend the offerings on to anyone out there watching. Um, so check out next week, we are talking about advanced directives and important decisions that, um, that you need to make to prepare for end of life. So a little bit more of a, a deeper topic, but um, we're covering all things here on Health Happens. So thanks for watching and have a great day.